here at the end of the New York Auto Show with Mike Harley, uh, who is uh, starting. Well, you started a while ago now. Actually, <laughs> AutoWeb's been up uh, Auto <laughs> for about two months now. Yeah, Mike. Well, nice to to have you here, Michael. And um, so a great show. Huh? I mean, a lot of I mean, uh, it was pretty big. I mean, a lot of reveals. It's yeah, I was. Uh, New York is uh, interestingly enough, it's the last show of the year. And uh, sometimes the, the industry has fizzled out by the time we get to the yeah. show. But this year, uh, the nice thing is, you know, the light's still burning. You know, it's bright and there's a lot of activity and a lot really of excitement. Yeah, I think and it's was, almost like, like the, the season's ending too early. Like we could do another show. <laughs> exactly. I know. There's like so much to talk about. So like, let's get to the point here. What was like your favorite car? I mean, most important or favorite? I don't know. Oh, that's a tough question. Uh, you know, most of the buzz is coming from the Lincoln Continental. And uh, that was a car, you know, Lincoln's been a brand that a lot of us, uh, you know, I'm in the camp that it's been struggling for years uh, to really get some sort of identity and an, an identity and a look. And uh, they come out with a continental concept, and it is spectacular looking. Yeah. You know, it's muscular, it's masculine, it, it's retro, it's got the shoulders, it's got the luxury, and the inside is just over the top. Yeah. And uh, you know, it really made a statement. Statement that Bentley didn't like too much. Yes. Their designers think there's a copycat. Of yeah, them. It, it looks quite but it's a hard bit. to make a, a car different, right? Yeah, and that's true. I mean, you know, today with aerodynamics and uh, you know pedestrian safety yeah. and all the rules and regulations, and you, you know, the cars all start to look the same. But if you do blur your eyes, it does look a lot like a Bentley, a flying spur. It's got Mulsanne in it, yeah. and uh, but. But that's that's a compliment. Exactly, that's a good-looking exactly, car. Exactly. I know. It's going to cost most less than that. Right. Right. And, yeah. and it's fun, and it's good to have the controversy. Yeah, and, absolutely. Uh, and if we're honest completely, in that um, that segment, almost like Hyundai with the Echos division and the Genesis, if you, from the angle you see it, it looks like a BMW from here, a little bit Mercedes-Benz, a little yes, bit Infiniti, yes, a little bit yes. Lexus. So it's tough, I mean, for the designers, I guess. Yeah. But it's interesting because the, the Koreans have constantly been, you know, accused of... of uh, kit bashing um, design yeah. stuff from the Germans and the Japanese and the Americans and uh, this is the first time we've really got an, uh, an American car that really does look like the British uh, luxury <laughs> mark. Well, funny or not, but it's an, an important car for Lincoln. That, oh, that yeah. they really, as you were saying, they were needed, they needed it to make something like that. Oh yeah, they needed to make a statement, and uh, hands down, that is probably the. Uh, as far as the buzz on the show floor yeah. is the, is that car, yeah. but there were also some other big cars. I mean, a Honda rolled out a, a Civic Concept, I know. and that is a huge Finally. volume car. I mean, if you look on a volume basis compared to what Continental you know will ever sell, exactly, yeah. I mean, Honda Civic's going to do that in a day or two, <laughs> and, and it's got a turbocharged engine. I know, which and they, is super they have like such a big band face for that car. That is rare that they haven't done that something like that before, no? Yeah, and oh, definitely, and uh, and. I mean, you've got a little, I think it's a 1.5 turbo, uh, should be a little rocket ship. We're going to get a Type R model. Um, and if you haven't seen the pictures, you got to check it out. It is this n brightest color green you've ever seen. You <laughs> yeah, this exactly. electric neon green. And uh, you walk into the into the show, and it basically is, is reflecting off the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, you can see from far away. I know you love Porsches, so... The Boxster Spider. Oh, That's the Boxster, fantastic the car, the right? Boxster Spider is uh, amazing. It's the second generation, and they learned a little bit from the first one. The first yeah. one had a an incredibly complex roof. Uh, we joke that an expert could do it in about four or five minutes. And, uh, with the some new roof, instructions from a German the engineer. The new, new roof is every bit as cool looking with the, the, the fabric top and the flying buttresses, and it's a manual construction. But uh, it goes up, and I, I timed the guys doing yeah. it, and they oh, did yeah. it in about a minute. And it's a lot, oh, and it's bad. waterproof now. But uh, the car itself is the real story, not the roof. Yeah, the performance, um, right? You know, big brakes, uh, incredible exhaust note, big engine. You know, flat six, mid mounted, rear wheel drive, manual gearbox. Um, it just, it's a fun, fun car. So you not only like Porsches, you know a lot about Porsches. I know a lot about Porsches. So yes. they say, some people say that this kind of car, it's like almost competing like some 911s. Right? I mean, in terms of performance. Yeah, it, it does. But uh, the 911 is a bigger car. Yeah. Um, not necessarily a heavier car. The 911 is also a lightweight. And that's one nice thing about the Spiders. It's so light. But uh, the 911 is also evolving into more of a GT car. It's more yeah. of a grand touring car. It's still a really good race car, but it's it's a different kind of car. One's mid-engine, one's rear engine, yeah. and different price point. Oh, absolutely. And, uh, yeah. and Porsche has no plans to do a turbo or supercharged model of their Cayman or Boxster, yeah. uh, but we have a GT4, exactly. which was just came out the last show, and that's spectacular. 
So, so uh, go, coming back to, to the United States, General Motors have the new Impala. That, like, that looks pretty good. It looks nice. It yeah, looks new nice. architecture completely, and that yes. makes it like a very roomy inside and all, all exactly. this like, nice the technology. Also. And that's a very popular car, and uh, we can't deny it's also a popular fleet car, which means uh, you know, you're going <laughs> to see... sales. Yeah, and, and fleet, uh, the industry, you know, it goes both ways. It's good and it's bad. It's bad because it sometimes artificially inflates numbers. But on the good side, uh, it also exposes the car to a lot of people. Exactly, yeah. And, you know, so people are going to drive the car the weekend. They're going to go vacation and they're driving in Paula and say, hey, maybe I like this thing. I know, yeah. And especially if they could deliver a good product. And it looks like they have. Yeah, and it has good technology, too. I mean, the right. technology has improved so much in those old cars, really. So um, let's go to another another brand Toyota. Well, Lexus Toyota. Lexus had the new RX, which is kind of radical for design outside. I mean, it's very very sporty. I mean, like it's like the mid SUV that was like more family oriented, but now it looks like a little sporty yeah, it's car. A, huh? It's interesting to watch uh, how that car has evolved. It it was another car that was very very feminine when it first came exactly. out, exactly, and it's slowly uh, become. You're taking on this racer look to it. To me, I'm not a real big fan of the styling. It's a little over the top. Uh, but, but don't you think that they needed to do something? I mean, all Toyotas were kind of boring. Lexus is too. So yeah, probably they, they need to do some statement. No? They are. Uh, they're not the most exciting cars to drive. <laughs> and uh, I'm not going so to say. I'm good. not going <laughs> to say you're going to fall asleep at the wheel. But uh, they'll get you there, and you're. Yeah. They're, they're they're a nice luxury car, and part of me questions why you have to go so loud on the design on a car that has a luxury theme but they understand the buyers in those cars they're trying to reach down and yeah. get a new younger buyer uh, Lexus typically an older buyer and uh, you know they want the the new generation they want something that's more aggressive something that makes a statement pretty interesting so let's talk a little bit about Auto Web Michael so tell us about the, the website where can people find there and what, what is Auto Web is actually two different sites. One is an editorial site, and the other is a search and configure site. So right now, if you go to autoweb.com, you're going to land on a configure site where you can actually go through and decide how to build a car based on price, based on lease price, based on I want to look at just rear-wheel drive cars. I want to look at cars that are all front-wheel drive, four doors, oh, wagons. Okay, so you like you can build it. Those? Oh, okay. Right, and uh, there are basic sliders. It's very, very easy to use, and uh, you can walk in and say, "Hey, I want to do a three hundred and fifty dollar a month payment for a sedan," and it'll give you all your options. And you say, "Okay, now I like you know I want the cruise. Let's build this thing out." And, uh, and that's at the very linked end, to the manufacturer's websites, or it's just it's like one of a bunch of different things. Either a third party, like um, a True Car, a Kelly Blue Book, or an Auto by Tell, or it could be linked to a local dealer or the manufacturer. Wow! So it's like and, the compilation of everything. Right, right. But it's oh. a one-stop shop, and that's nice. We have every single make and model out there, and you can drill right down to the color. Wow! And uh, so you've been busy working a lot. Huh? Very busy, <laughs> and then and there's a complimentary site, and there's an editorial site. If you go to the bottom and click on yeah. editorial, you'll get our car reviews, where we talk about the ten best cars for a family with a twenty-five thousand dollar budget to look for a sedan, or what you know, good things for teen safety for new drivers, or just a review of a you know a new Murano or something like that. Yeah. Speaking, of, you mentioned the teen uh, safety things, and uh, the Impala has this like report card. That like tells you what your kid is. What do you think about that? It's too intrusive. It's good. What, I mean, uh, it could be. It, way, it's good if you're. I've got a 16 year old son at home, yeah. and uh, <laughs> he's just starting to learn how to drive. And uh, from my perspective, it's fabulous. <laughs> but when I was a 16 year old kid, uh, more than 16 I years ago, know. I don't want to know. It was one of those things. I got in the car, and I'm lucky I'm alive. Exactly. And uh, so. You know, if it does help lower insurance rates, and it, you know, no, right now the the sobering fact is the number one killer of uh, kids between the ages of 16 and 19 are cars. Yeah. And exactly. uh, if there's any way to lower that number, even if it saves one kid's life, you know, that's that's a family that you know. And some peace of mind for your parents, like for right. you. I mean, like you live there. So, okay, I know what you're gonna be doing. Yeah. But I mean, I expect all the automakers to do it, and it's gonna get, I'm gonna say, quote unquote, worse and worse for the teenagers, <laughs> because I imagine a few years from now we're gonna have webcams built in. Well, until everything. we get to full autonomous driving, I'm not sure. Right. Worry right. About and that's another subject. Yeah. You know, we're not gonna have to worry about this in 25 years. <laughs> exactly. So, so yeah. well, Michael, thank you very much. For and uh, I'll see you around in the next film. Yeah, we'll show you in so many films sometimes. I'll see you around, Javier. Thank Always you. a pleasure. Thank you, Mike. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.